Good day everyone! You're watching Familia Garcia Mix. This video is all about nursing questions, answers, and rational. But before that, if you're new to our channel, please do like and subscribe and please hit the notification bell to keep you updated every time we posted a new video. And also, we ask your support in our other channel, Axel and Pfeiffer GTV. Thank you so much and God bless. Let's start. A male client is admitted following an automobile accident. He is very anxious, dyslexic, and in severe pain. The left chest wall moves in during inspiration and balloons out when he exhales. What condition are these symptoms most suggestive of? 1. Hemothorax 2. Flail chest 3. Atelectasis 4. Fluoral effusion Answer number 2 Paradoxical breathing movements or opposite to normal are characteristic of flail chest the flail portion is sucked in on inspiration and bulges out on expiration. Flail chest occurs when there are multiple rib fractures due to trauma. A young man is admitted with a flail chest following a car accident. He is intubated with an endotracheal tube and is placed on a mechanical ventilator. Control mode, positive pressure. Which physical finding alerts the nurse to an additional problem in respiratory function? 1. Dullness to percussion in the 3rd to 5th intercostal space midclavicular line. 2. Decreased paradoxical motion. 3. Louder breath sound on the right chest. And 4. pH of 7.36 in an arterial blood gases. Answer number three. Louder breath sounds on the right side of the chest indicate that the endotracheal tube may be misplaced and is irritating only one lung. The nurse is caring for a client who has had a chest tube inserted and connected to a portable water seal drainage. The nurse determines the drainage system is functioning correctly when which of the following is observed. 1. Continuous bubbling in the water seal chamber. 2. Fluctuation in the water seal or U-tube chamber. 3. Suction tubing attached to a wall unit. 4. Vesicular breath sounds throughout the lung fields. Answer number 2. Fluctuation in the water seal chamber demonstrates that the tubing system is patent. An adult is ordered oxygen via nasal pumps. What is true of administering oxygen this way? 1. Mixes room air with oxygen. 2. Delivers a precise concentration of oxygen. 3. Requires humidity during delivery. 4. Is less traumatic to the respiratory tract. Answer 1. Low flow oxygen systems provide an oxygen concentration that is determined by the amount of air drawn into the system and the dilution of the oxygen with room air. An adult is receiving oxygen by nasal pumps, which statement by the client indicates that client teaching regarding oxygen therapy has been effective. 1. I was feeling fine, so I removed my nasal pumps. 2. 
it will be good to rest from taking deep breath now that my oxygen is on. 3. Don't forget to come back quickly when you get me out of bed. I don't like to be without my oxygen for too long. 4. My family was angry when I told them they could not smoke in my room. Answer number 4. Oxygen is a flammable gas and smoking is not permitted in the area. The client diagnosed with tuberculosis is taught prevention of disease transmission. Which correct answer will the client state is a means of transmission? 1. Hints 2. Droplet nuclei 3. Milk products 4. Eating utensils Answer number 2. The most frequent means of transmission of the tubercle bacillus is by droplet nuclei. The bacillus is present in the air as a result of coughing, sneezing, and expectorating by infected persons. A 64-year-old has been smoking since he was 11 years old. He has a long history of emphysema and is admitted to the hospital because of a respiratory infection that has not improved with outpatient therapy. Which finding would the nurse expect to observe during the client's nursing assessment? 1. Electrocardiogram changes 2. Increased anterior posterior chest diameter 3. Slow labored respiratory pattern 4. Weight height relationship indicating obesity. Answer number 2. An increased anterior posterior chest diameter, commonly referred to as barrel chest, is seen in clients with emphysema as a result of chronic hyperinflation of the lungs. Thank you so much for watching. See you on our next video. This is Nurse Helen, your learning body. God bless!